are you um, angry at the attorney general at all? I mean, you have to, he. He's brought your tenure into question. You have to run for a seat that you were appointed to in 2007. Your numbers, you're not well known, and this is how people get your name in the news. Are, are you upset about well, that? Well, you know, look, I, I, uh, I feel it's a great privilege to serve as, as state controller, and uh, it's an independent office under the state constitution. I have my job to do, and we're doing it. And I think for people who uh, look at the record of, of accomplishment, what we've done during this very difficult time when people look at uh, the challenges that I inherited, the mess that I inherited, what we've done uh, to turn things around. Certainly anybody that's worked with me and worked with our team knows that uh, they have a controller and a controller's office that they could be very, very proud of. So uh, I'm looking forward to having uh, the opportunity to be before uh, the voters and, and, and uh, reminding people of, of what we've done and as important, how we need to keep this office uh, to be a very, very important part of uh, the movement for change and transformation that we need in our state certainly starting with a better budget process, a better fiscal process. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been in this uh, political realm for a while, and, uh, and, and it, it, it isn't always, uh, it isn't always uh, that you get everybody throwing bouquets your way. I think for people who look at you, what we've done, I think the record speaks for itself. It's a, it's a record I'm very, very proud of. Do you expect to have the Attorney General's endorsement at some point? You know, Liz, I'm running for the office, and I want the support of the people of the state of New York. I'm looking forward to being part of a, of a unified uh, Democratic team. Uh, you know, my view is uh, you know, we have a few weeks to go for, for the Democratic Convention. We'll, we'll put a ticket together, and I, I think the history of the Democratic Party in New York State is that uh, we come together and we work together for the interests of the people of the state of New York. And you're, you're confident that you'll have sufficient funds because uh, you've actually voluntarily sort of hamstrung yourself in the interest of reform. You, you, didn't, well, you don't have that much money. Yeah. Last I checked, a million dollars, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, again, we're trying to send a message we need to do things differently, and, and it shouldn't always be about all the money. Uh, I've instituted limitations in terms of, of this office. I've done, as you point out, voluntary limitations as well uh, to make clear that, uh, that we're doing things differently. Uh, perhaps that creates uh, somewhat of a, of, a, of a challenge in terms of raising funds. You know, I've been a strong advocate for the controller's office to be uh, the model or the test for, for public financing of campaigns in our state. That hasn't happened. So we're, we're working hard to raise money. I'm confident we're going to have sufficient funds uh, to get the message out there. We have, uh, you know, we have uh, an interest. Certainly the media likes to get the message out there as well. That's why I'm pleased you invited <laughs> me to be on your show. And, and I think we, we should not always assume that... Uh, and one would certainly hope that, that we haven't reduced politics in New York State to the only people who are viable are people who have a lot of money. You know, uh, you know I, I, I'm, I'm confident we will have sufficient resources, even in a big, expensive state like New York, to get our message out there. It'll be a message that people will uh, respond to in a positive way. Well, it will be interesting, certainly, and Rye, you actually don't have any opposition, so I think it's probably a safe bet to say now that when we see you at the convention, you'll become the party's nominee. And well, we'll I, be seeing I certainly you there look forward to it, and I think, we, I think we're going to have a strong Democratic ticket this year. Okay, thanks very much. I appreciate it. Tom DiNapoli. Thanks, Liz. Thanks for joining me. Thanks.